Hello, Woolwax folks. I wanted to address a uh, kind of a misconception today about some people feel that wool wax is too thick and doesn't creep and migrate as well as some of the other low viscosity competitors. And that's absolutely untrue. All of our, our significant undercoaters will tell you that they have no problem with the migration uh, characteristics of wool wax. One of the, the things you need to keep in mind is wool wax is, is much denser than any of our competitors. Viscosity and density are two completely separate issues. You can have an item, uh, any liquid for instance, that is much more viscous um, than a product and still be lower in density. For instance, oil or uh, water Water is much more dense than oil. If you take a, a standing glass of water and put a heavy oil into it, the oil, even though it's much more viscous, it'll float to the top. That's a perfect example. Uh, wool wax is more viscous than our competitors, but its major strength is the density, and that's what makes it so resistant to wash off. We do do a lower viscosity product. It's called Wool Wax LV. Um, we make it, we sell a ton of it, uh, it looks the same, it's just got a lower density and a lower uh, threshold for um, friction, which is gonna be the viscosity. Um, we don't recommend it in Northeast, we sell a lot of it in the Southeast, we sell a lot of it to steel companies, parts manufacturers that don't need long-term protection. Uh, our point today is you just need one product, which is the wool wax traditional undercoating to undercoat your vehicle. Uh, if it, it, it's, it is more viscous than our competitors, but it's not like peanut butter. It's still a flowable liquid. It'll flow and creep and migrate as well as any of our low viscosity competitors. Yeah, it may take us a little bit longer to get there, but it'll get there. If you are of the thought uh, and the belief that you absolutely need to thin it out for the enclosed protected environment areas, the doors, the frame rails, the rocker panels. We don't recommend you bring in a second product like the LV. You can just use your traditional wool wax and it can be thinned out very, very easily. And we'll show you how right now. You take your, your regular quart bottle. Uh, if, if you're gonna use this for the interior areas, make a mark on the bottle two inches down, which is the third, okay? Uh, and you're gonna mix one third of vegetable oil in with two thirds of wool wax. So vegetable oil is very, very compatible with lanolin. Any type of inexpensive vegetable oil is fine. Uh, Wesson, Mazzola, whatever you got. Just pour it in, fill those two inches, uh, shake it up, and now you've got a thinner version of the traditional wool wax. You would never want to apply this on the undercarriage or the exposed areas but for the enclosed protected areas, uh, whether it be the doors, frame rails, rockers, whatever, um, they're not exposed to the road elements, so it's fine. Thin it out a bit, one third inexpensive vegetable oil, put it in the quart bottle, shake it up well, and essentially what you've got is the same viscosity as our low viscosity competitors that don't stand up well to the road wash and, uh, and other road elements. There you go. Um, let me show you what it looks like inside. You're not going to notice too, too much difference, but uh, can we see that? There you yes. go. There you go. So it's just a lower viscosity wool wax. You don't need to bring in a second product. Some people tell us, well, I use wool wax for this area, another product for that area, or I use the LV. Look, we sell the LV. We don't recommend it um, because we don't want you to have to bring in two separate products. The traditional wool wax is awesome for everywhere okay you don't need to thin it if you really believe you want to go down that road easily done with the vegetable oil we appreciate the support thank you very very much if you have any questions at all please don't ever hesitate to give us a call bye now